hello. Because it is October, my mind immediately goes to spookier things, so I thought it'd be fun to do a video talking about the zodiac signs, but associating it with something a little bit spookier, and that is the vampire. <laughs> So a vampire is a creature that survives by feeding off the vital essence of the living. Not only do they drink human blood to survive, they also do it because they like it, because they find pleasure in it. It's a thrill. So how on earth is this associated with the zodiac signs? Every zodiac sign has positives and negatives associated with it. All of the zodiac signs face their own challenges, and each zodiac sign has certain elements that can threaten to drain the positive energy from them. So what are these darker qualities of each of the zodiac signs that threaten to feed off of the life and energy of the more positive qualities associated with the zodiac signs? What keeps them up at night? What is draining? What can be dangerous or tempting? Every zodiac sign has the potential to be good or to be bad. Most of the time, zodiac energies kind of live in that gray area, so each zodiac sign has things that are easier for them or things that they struggle with or challenges that they face. In this video, I'm not talking about any of the zodiac signs being worse or better than the other ones. They're all equal. They all have their own struggles and challenges that they face and also things that they do find easier. So just wanted to clarify that before we jump in. Let's start with Aries. Obviously. Aries are brave, they're leaders, they're fun, they're adventurous, they get stuff done. So what is this vampire energy that threatens the Aries? Aries is I am, so the ego can play into some of their issues. Aries can be a bit self-absorbed and there's a lot of worry or concern about how they come across or their place in the world. They put a ton of pressure on themselves, pressure to be perfect, pressure to be the best, and this kind of pressure can eat away at them. It can drain from their other energy and it can really suck the life out of them at times and something that can be a concern for Aries. So for Aries, it's that insane pressure that they can put on themselves. Moving on to Taurus, Taurus are persistent, responsible, artistic, graceful, they always keep trying no matter what. Taurus is associated with I have. Their possessions, their successes can be overly important to them at times. They can become too caught up in what they want and what they don't have, you know, feeling bad about themselves if they don't meet certain accomplishments that they have in mind for themselves, if they don't have certain things. This can consume them, they can fixate on losses, on things that they desire but don't have, and they can hold themselves responsible for things that they're not able to attain. Now with Gemini, they're curious, adaptable, intelligent, exciting, you know, they have terrific communication skills, and they're associated with I think. So the Gemini's mind is always moving, it's always racing, it's always worrying. Their thoughts can just be on a loop, you know, they go over them again and again and again, analyzing, thinking about things, thinking on things, you know, so much that it consumes them. Worrying, overthinking. With cancers, they're nurturing, caring, affectionate, creative, ambitious. They are associated with I feel. So their emotions can often get in the way of other things for them. Their emotions can control their actions and cause the cancer to at times feel out of control or feel like they're being held hostage by their own feelings. Critiques can get to them, their sensitivities can bring them down. They can perseverate over things or things can bother them endlessly. Leos are loyal, fun, creative, exciting, pleasurable, grandiose. They are associated with I will. Their pride can drain them, a fear of failing to be where they want to be, not being able to express themselves the way they want to express themselves, not being able to be at a point in life that they want to be at. These are things that Leos can dwell on, things that can hold them back. Virgos are intelligent, hardworking, organized. They don't skip over details. Virgos are associated with I analyze, and their analyzation often turns inward. They can be harsh and very critical of themselves. They can go too far with the details, really honing in and fixating on negative things and negative traits about themselves, being super hard on themselves, judgmental, not allowing themselves to have any wins. Libras are fair, clever, patient, understanding, they're charming, good to talk to. They are associated with I balance. Libras always seek to find balance, but a lot of times they can struggle to fully grasp it. And when that happens, they can really turn it against themselves. They can feel bad for themselves. They can feel like they're a failure. If things don't line up the way that they wanted them to, if things aren't turning out the way that they had hoped, they can really turn that inward or blame themselves for it. They have this idea of what they want, but when reality isn't matching up to that, Libra can blame themselves for that and they can be cruel to themselves over that. 
Scorpios are sharp, caring, intuitive, firm, determined, loyal. They are associated with I create or I desire. The desires that they have, if not met, can create sadness for them. The fear of not being able to get what it is that they desire, of not being able to create the life that they want to live in. Creating something beautiful only to have it abandoned. They can fixate and obsess on these types of fears and worries, sometimes creating their own unhappiness out of the fear that they will be unhappy. Sagittarius are funny, wise, adaptable, honest, optimistic, generous. They are associated with I perceive. Things that can bring them down are perceptions of their their own reality versus perceptions of a reality they think could be a possibility for them but isn't currently. The grass may always seem greener somewhere else. Wanting more, struggling to be content, struggling to feel settled and having this leave them with a feeling of sadness, emptiness, or causing impulsivities. Capricorns are loyal, dedicated, reliable, gritty. They are associated with I use. They need to find a purpose for everything. They can struggle to break away from that. They can worry that they're not useful or they're not achieving what they're meant to be achieving. There can be a struggle to break away from what is known, wanting to experience more but being afraid. Being highly critical of themselves. Aquarius is innovative, eccentric, analytical, unique, inventive, open-minded. They are associated with I know. A struggle to really understand themselves. They can shut down and rely on knowledge as opposed to feelings. There can be a lot of turmoil in the mind and it can be hard for them to let go of controlling themselves. They can keep a lot inside, letting it eat away at them, holding on very tightly to that control, and also being detached at the same time. Pisces are empathetic, kind, considerate, compassionate, creative, intuitive. They're associated with I believe. Their power to believe is backed by a lot. When they put themselves into something, there is a lot attached. Anytime their belief in themselves or others is wounded or tested in any way, that can be shattering to them. And it's something that they can hold on to and can lead to insecurities in the future. So that is a brief glimpse into some of the energies that can be a bit darker or just, I guess, more so a bit draining for each of the zodiac signs, things that could tend to bring us down. So hopefully this wasn't a downer of a video, but I do think it is important to understand the positive and the not so positive qualities associated with all of the zodiac signs so we can better understand ourselves, how to deal with them, understand people that we surround ourselves with, and how to also understand their darker sides of their zodiac signs as well. So let me know what your zodiac sign is down below and if you associate with this type of energy that I just described. And I will see you in my next video. Have a good day or night.